into Hi guys, welcome back to 38th part of the Arduino tutorials. In my previous video, I have already explained the basic working of the soil moisture sensor and also we have done some basic code to read the moisture values from the soil. So in continuation to that video, we'll be additionally adding an LCD module to display the moisture content and also a small water pump to make an automatic plant watering system. The components needed for this tutorial are Arduino board, soil moisture sensor, LCD module. I'm using this 16 cross 2 module along with this I2C interface. So if you're planning to buy, make sure you have this I2C module which makes your connection easier. Next, we need a single channel relay module, a small water pump. Here I'll be using this 9 volt one, a power supply corresponding to your water pump and finally some jumper wires. Moving on to the connections, I'll be taking the Arduino 5V and ground on the breadboard since we need it for all the components. Starting with the moisture sensor, the VCC and ground goes to Arduino 5V and ground and the analog output pin A0 is connected to Arduino analog pin A0. On the LCD module, the VCC and ground again goes to Arduino 5V and ground. The SDA pin is connected to Arduino analog A4 pin and SCL connected to Arduino analog pin A5. Moving to the relay module, again the VCC ground is connected to Arduino 5V and ground and the signal input pin can be connected to any digital pin. Here I am using the digital pin 7. And moving to the last component, the water pump. So the negative terminal of the pump is connected to negative terminal of the battery. The left out positive terminals of both will be connected to the relay module. So one goes to the common terminal and other one should be connected to normally open terminal. So if you want to understand the basics of relay, I have already made a separate tutorial you can check out. That's it the connections. If you face any difficulties, follow the circuit link provided in the description box. Moving to the code, here I have already opened the code from my previous tutorial. Here we have just read the sensor pin and using simple if else statements we have evaluated the values coming from the sensor. So if it's greater than this value, then there'll be no moisture and soil will be dry. And if the values from the sensor is between this range, then the soil is in the medium condition and for less than 400, it is wet. So this condition checks remain same. Additionally, we'll try adding the logic to activate the pump. So in this three cases, we have to just run the pump when soil is dry. So I have to add the relay activation here in this first if statement. Before that, we'll declare the pin we have connected the relay using int data type. 
relay pin is connected to digital pin 7 and also in the setup we will set the pin mode as output so we have to use the digital write function when my sensor data is greater than 950 it indicates soil is dry so I am activating the relay which indirectly starts the motor or the pump relay pin will make it high and coming to other conditions so here soil is medium so we have to keep our pump switched off same digital right but pump will be off also in the last statement it says soil is wet again we have to switch off the pump so same logic goes here as well that's all the logic for the pump we'll also add some logic to print some information on the LCD so here I'll not go in depth for the LCD commands you can refer to my previous tutorials to understand basics of LCD coding just including the header file and creating some object for this class also in the setup we have to call some initialization functions so all these basics I have already explained in my previous tutorials I am using 16 cross 2 LCD so when it comes to this if statement I will just show the status as soil is dry in the first row of the LCD in the second row of the LCD I will give information on the motor status here my motor will be on so I'll give motor on so I'll copy the same lines for other statements here the soil status will be medium and motor will be off and the last statement soil is wet and the motor will be off so that's all the logic for LCD I'll upload this and see how this works initially I have kept the battery disconnected for the water pump and I'll insert the sensor module into the pot in which the soil is already dry since the soil is dry on the LCD it's showing soil dry and also the motor on as soon as I connect the battery the motor started running So just for the demonstration I will add some water As soon as there is enough water the status shows soil is wet and also motor is off In this way the system monitors the moisture and whenever needed it triggers the motor automatically. So that's all for this video. If you have any doubts let me know in the comment section below. For code and circuit visit the link in the description box. Thank you for watching and we will be back in another interesting tutorial.